Welcome back to our final episode of how to pack a medic bag series. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the Prolong Field Care Bag. This is a bag where a lot of people go crazy and throw everything in it, including the kitchen sink. In this bag, please don't have no equipment that you don't know how to use. Have only the essentials that you're hitting the 10 capabilities that you are prolonged field care proficient at some degree. No stuff that you don't know how to use. You don't wanna look stupid when your boss asks you, what's that? And you're like, what the fuck is that? First capability, to have the ability to monitor the patient. At the bare minimum, have a stethoscope, a blood pressure cuff, and a pulse ox. Last but not least, also the Foley catheter. Okay, we're not supposed to show it, but trust me, it's it. Second capability is the ability to resuscitate the trauma patient beyond crystalloids and colloids. Saline water is for pasta. The trauma patient needs blood. For that reason, I also carry the field blood transfusion kit and the quantum fluid warmer. Third capability is the ability to effectively ventilate the patient. For that, I have my BVM with my peep valve. I should have a ventilator, which I have, that works on an O2 tank. That's not the best idea to have in a firefight because you have blue eyes then. One is gonna blue left, one is gonna blue right. So yeah, I'm not taking this into a firefight. So only my BVM and my PEEP. I wasn't able to require an additional ventilator. Maybe next time. The fourth capability is a tube down his throat. That's not that funny. Or a tube in his neck. We're talking about criking. Uh, but a tube to go down his uh, throat. Maybe if we have RSI capabilities, we intubate. This is my video laryngoscope. The army didn't give it to me, but a local hospital is missing something. But what the army did give me is a cry kit. Don't go medieval on the patient and use adequate sedation. Ketamine helps. And as we were talking about ketamine, we also have to have the fifth capability is adequate pain control have all the fun drugs for our trauma patient, which I'm not gonna show because I don't wanna get sued. And also talk with your doctor, what's in your scope of practice to carry the fun stuff. For the sixth capability, know that everybody lies. So don't just blindly believe your patient that he's fine. Do periodical physical examinations and some diagnostic measures. I don't have an ultrasound, but I have a poor man's chemistry set, which is the urine dipstick. And yeah, check his urine. Prolonged field care is not pew pew medicine. It's a superpower called nursing skills. So for the seventh capability, we have nursing skills. Nothing fancy. We want to have our patient pink, warm and dry. In addition, also clean. So for that, we have just a fancy hygienic bag that has a toothbrush, some baby wipes, and that's basically it. Just think about what you do in the morning. Clean yourself up, brush your teeth. This is called nursing skills. But the real superpower of nursing skill lies in trending vital signs. So everything you do on the patient you write it up so you know if he's tanking up or down. Make it. The eighth capability is the ability to perform advanced surgical skills. First, it's the knowledge. Then is also the right tools for the job. This is a funny box, but it's holding in 
all my surgical equipment. Why ask have a metal box? Well, I could put it over a fire or in a pressure cooker, make a couple of holes in and voila, I have sterile equipment. The night capability is not up to you. Hope that you have a good combo guy. So communications are up and you can call somebody that's smarter than you to help you out. Telemedicine. For the tent capability, last but not least, knowledge. Knowledge is power. Know how to do critical care and know how to care for your patient during evac. But if you don't know how to do it, check your ego at the door and have some medical handbooks at hand so you can read up on the things that you don't know. This is it for my 10 capabilities for treating from a medical bag. You have to remember, per on field care, it's slow time, it's prison time. 90% of it, it's medicine. 10% of it, it's tactics that needs to be adapted to the situation where you are. Prolonged field care is different when you're treating out of a vehicle from a remote fob or a bag like this one. The most important thing is that you're just hitting all the 10 capabilities. All right, guys, this is it for our series. In the beginning, we covered everyday carry, then we covered preppers, and now we covered my bread and butter, military medicine. Remember, it is a way, it's not the way. So before going anywhere, know where you're going and adapt to that situation. For now, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you get notified when our new series drops. Take care.